guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lily and this is Lily's Crafty Nest. Well, hi there. I hope you guys haven't forgotten about me. Honestly, my idea was to come back sooner than this, but a lot of things happen in my life at this time and uh, I just have to take the time to resolve and pay attention to these things. Some of it is really sad. Some of it is really happy and honestly, I am not complaining. I wouldn't change it for the world because the sad things only remind us of our humanity and how dependent we should be on God. And the happy things are just those blessings that God keeps on pouring on us. So yeah, that's what's going on in my life. And I'm happy to be back showing you another tutorial. And as I promised, this tutorial is gonna be about Christmas. I'm decorating this ornament with some HTV, which is heat transfer vinyl, and I'm going to show you how to make that work. But if you don't have a Cricut or a Silhouette or a Cameo or whatever other cutting machine, do not fret. You can still do this project without having to use these things. All you really need is a mason jar lid, fabric like I'm using, but you could also use paper, gift wrap so many things this is just an idea that i'm giving you but you can go ahead and use whatever you want use your creativity the sky is the limit so if you have any mason jars set them aside because we're going to use those but take those lids that you may have stored away and those are the things that we're going to be using today if you don't have any you could always purchase them you can go anywhere and purchase just the lids so stay tuned i'm really excited about this project and as usual, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And remember to go ahead and click on the bell to be notified every time I post a new video. And without further ado, let's get crafting. For this project, you'll need the following supplies. Fabric of your choice, jute or twine, Christmas ribbon, Christmas floral picks, mason jar lids, iron-on or HTV, scissors and weeder, your glue gun and glue sticks. And optional, a cutting machine of your choice. I have the Cricut. I'm taking you to Love SVG where I get a lot of my free SVGs. You can go ahead and create your own or you can go here and use what they have for personal use. I think you can also use them for commercial but you would have to read the licenses. Here you can go ahead and type Christmas and pick whatever you want. I selected the phrases that I wanted, but you can get pictures, whatever motif, click on it, download it. It's really easy. Then bring it into your design space. When I'm saving my SVGs, I like putting where I got them from so I can search for them later on if I need to. Okay. So here, one by one, I am adding the different phrases that I liked and marking them. Then I'm selecting them and bringing them up. These three, I actually used four, but for now I have these three here. Bringing in a circle and making it white. The circle is the size of our lid. That way I can resize the phrases, making sure that they'll fit perfectly. And keep on doing that to all of them. Keep in mind that these SVGs are in different colors, meaning that you can cut, you know, the leaves in green, etc., etc. For our purposes, we just need them to be either red or white. We don't need all the colors. We're just cutting them as just one piece. So I'm going to put them together and I'm going to weld them and then I'm going to change the colors and copy them again so I can have two sets, one that I'm cutting in white and another one that I'm cutting in the red. Make sure you mirror this because we're using HTV, otherwise you'll be very angry with yourself. Now we're going to put our HTV or iron on on our green mat and when we place it there we have to make sure that the shiny side of the HTV is down because we're going to cut on the top part and remember it has to be mirrored it needs to look backwards when you're cutting it okay and then I'm going to go ahead and do the red now I use my scraps so if you see me putting little pieces that's not how it comes it's actually me using scraps because I'm frugal that way and I'm happy that I actually find pieces that 
fit whatever project I'm doing. It's like I feel accomplished. So here we are cutting our red ones. Once you're done, you can peel it off. And then we go get our fabric and draw circles on the opposite side and we cut them the size of our mason jar lids, the inside part. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and weed our vinyl. I like cutting the pieces and then placing it back on the mat because it's easy to weed this way. Make sure that when you select uh, an SVG that you get something that doesn't have a lot of intricate little pieces like I did because it's a headache to weed. But I got it done, so, but that's something that I, I learned. So make sure that if it's something very small that you're cutting, let the design be as simple as possible. Now we're going to grab our fabric and see where our uh, design fits better. I like the white with the red because it shows more. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the red on the black and white. Okay, I like cutting the edges because I like trying it on the lid just to make sure that it's spaced out correctly on the lid and I'm not missing any parts or it's not too much to the side. So you don't really have to do this if you measured right, but I kind of eyeball things, so yeah. So it looks perfect. So now we're going to iron on our pieces. I'm using an easy press, but you can go ahead and use your iron. You go ahead and set the time and the temperature according to the material that you're using. I'm using Easy Weed, so it's 305 for 15 seconds. But I put 21 just in case. And I love the Easy Press. You just put, you don't even have to put pressure. You just hold it down. And when it beeps, you peel it off and you have these beautiful pieces. So now we're ready to go and decorate. Okay, you're gonna grab your glue gun. Be careful not to burn yourself. And you're gonna put a little bit of glue at a time and attach your fabric to it. No sense in doing it all at once because what happens is it dries and then it won't stick. So just do a little bit at a time, be patient. Then put a little bit of glue on the inside of the lid and pop that in there and look how beautiful they start looking. You do that with all of the ones that you have. It's very easy, as you can see. This is an easy project. And it's so much fun and so in right now. You can do any color. You can use um, paper, you can use other fabrics. You can just leave them as is. So now we're gonna give the, the finishing touches and I'm just taking the greenery, cutting pieces off and the twine and making the little loop to hang it by so it's really easy, just put a little bit of glue. Again, don't burn yourself. And then attach it to the top. Try to center it in the middle. And just add them. A little bit of hot glue. And there you go, this is how it's supposed to look. You can leave them like that, but you can also embellish it. So I'm using this thicker ribbon and I'm just making a very simple bow. shape it, make the sides even, etc. Very simple bow. You can make it as elaborate as you want, but you want these to be simple because it is a mason jar. Um, you can use greenery, no ribbon. I mean, you can do so many things. So here we go. Our ribbon is almost done. Cut the, um, the ends. You can cut them whichever way you want. You can do a dovetail if you like to, but I just wanted it to be very simple, very organic looking. And then look where you're gonna place it. Add a dab of glue, put your bow on, and it's looking fab already. Fuss with it until it looks the way that you want it to look. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then add your little pieces of greenery if you want or whatever, you could put berries too if you use a different color ribbon because berries are red. But, or if you have the ones that are like burgundy, they will look nice as well. I'm just adding a little bit of pine needles on each side. And I thought it was a good idea to maybe add 
a jingle bell in the middle. And there we go. Just be careful because these suckers like to fall and get lost. So, tell me how cute is that? Clean it off. Make sure you have no glue strings. And look, I am in love with these. They are gorgeous. And for those that don't have a Cricut machine, you can use anything. Here I'm using stickers that are Christmas themed and I'm gonna go ahead and put those on my fabric. They do have a sticky back, but I'm not trusting it since it is going on fabric. So I'm using a little bit of hot glue. And then you do the same thing. You attach them to your rim and you decorate them the same way. You can add things, you can subtract things. You can use instead of fabric, you can use paper. You can use so many things. You can draw things. You can put um, 3D items on the actual ornament. So that's it. Well, that's it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and maybe it sparked your creativity. So go ahead and make your DIYs. And please, if you do get inspired by what I'm showing you, please share it with me. And if you have any ideas of any DIYs you would like to see, leave me a comment below. See you next time.